Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I am going to be making some Ninja Creamy Dupe healthy-ish recipes. I don't know about you guys, but I've been on TikTok and I'm seeing the Ninja Creamy everywhere and my mom and I cannot buy it. It is physically sold out. Sam's Club, Walmart, Target, Ninja's actual website, literally everywhere, I cannot get my hands on it. So I wanted to share with you guys some very easy desserts that take no time at all. Honestly, it takes less time than the Ninja Creamy and it kind of tastes like ice cream to me. Now this isn't an exact dupe, but this is as close as I can get and I wanted to share it with you guys because I've been making these flavors once a week and I've got my friends and my family on them and they are so good and you can tweak it. Chocolate, pistachio, white chocolate, cheesecake, vanilla, literally the possibilities are endless. So I will flip the camera around and I will show you guys these very easy kind of DIY Ninja Creamy ice cream dupes I've been making at home and what I've been eating them with. Here is everything you guys are gonna need for this video. I have some extra toppings here, but I will go through the basics first and then the kind of optional parts. So first things first, the star of the show are these Cool Whip um, fat-free or sugar, zero sugar, uh, cool up containers. It doesn't matter which one you use. I've used both. I feel like I tend to do this one more often just because I see it more, but the fat free is also a good option depending on which one you guys prefer. You're just looking for the fat free or the zero sugar. It's good for two weeks in the fridge as a dip or as this like ice cream we're going to make. Here is the nutritional facts on the back. So this one is the 20 calories for two tablespoons. And then this one looks a little different. Again, 20, but you see it ranges in the sugars and things like that. So these are the base. I'm gonna be making two flavors today, so that is just why I grabbed two of them. I usually will do two so that we have them throughout the weeks. I have one in the fridge that is about to hit two weeks, a chocolate one I have to finish. But for now, if you want to do one, that's fine. But again, just two full containers. Second thing is when you get these from the store, they are pretty frozen because that's the aisle where you'll find them. So I like to let mine sit out on the counter and de-thaw a little because it makes my life a lot easier when I'm trying to stir everything in. Okay, they look the exact same, very similar similar. This one kind of looks a little more yellow on camera, but uh, this is the base. So what you do guys is you will literally take one full pack of one of the sugar-free jellos. There's so many different flavors, chocolate, cheesecake, banana, pistachio, vanilla, literally any one you want. And you're putting one of these into the Cool Whip container. So I'm going to make the zero sugar one, the banana cream, and then I will do the fat-free one cheesecake. I like to use the entire pack, but if you wanted to slim it back you could just use like a half um, or a quarter of it but again you're just getting one full sugar free is the key here pack to put into the cool whip and i'll show you what that looks like in a second because when i go to make this it is a little hard to stir i also like to add a liquid in it to kind of make it creamier so the more almond milk you add the creamier it'll be the less you add the thicker it's going to be technically. So for this one, I love the Almond Breeze Unsweetened 30 Calorie Vanilla Milk. You could do the regular one. I haven't experimented with oat milk. I've always just done the vanilla, um, but I have also done skim milk and that was totally fine too. But for this purpose today, I'm going to use this one. I got all of this at Hannaford, but any store has this. And then we're going to get into the dipping and the toppings next. So let me set the camera up so I can show you guys a better visual of putting this in and how much milk. I kind of eyeball the whole thing, but I'll do my best to take notes so you guys can see this process. Perfect angle that you guys can see. So I let these sit out on my lunch um, for about 20 minutes, I would say 25 minutes, and they're getting soft now, which is great. So I am going to do the fat-free one, and then let's do the cheesecake. So it just makes your life easier to stir, like I said, when it's thawed. So I'm going to take one of these cheesecake packs and put it directly into the Cool Whip, like this. And I like to do it in packs. What I mean by that is like I'll put half in, get a spoon, and then flatten the top just so I don't make a mess. And I start to go like this. Now I let this thaw out. This is honestly probably the most perfect start I've had. It's very easy to mix. If you can't mix it and you feel like it is so hard and the powder's going everywhere, just let it sit out longer. That is 100% the key. 
but at this point you're just mixing so you don't want it to be grainy anywhere so you want to take your time with this and really mix in that powder like i said some of you will choose not to use the whole thing of powder and that's completely okay some of you will use it if you are counting calories or anything like that it's not too hard to track i am not calorie counting right now so i'm just mixing this up and you guys will see it's a really creamy texture. You just wanna make sure you really mix that powder in. Now, technically, I don't need a ton of milk because I let mine sit out longer. If you needed to speed this process up, if it was thicker, add a splash of milk. And that just really helps activate that jello pudding. I think I have a reel on my channel or maybe my TikTok. I've also made these um, sugar-free pudding mixes, but in pies with a reduced fat crust. That is also super good. So I'll leave my TikTok handle so you guys can see that video. Okay, this one's perfectly stirred and now we can move on to the next one. So this one, it's gonna be the sugar-free. That's the inside. I'm going to take the banana cream and I'm going to dump half of this one for now. So I've got two halves left technically. I'm gonna take a new spoon, keeping them separate flatten it out and this one it's literally the same texture guys between the sugar-free and the fat-free both melted really nicely and it just makes life easy I will say if I had to point out a difference this one slightly feels less creamy but again you can barely tell this one I'm gonna have to add milk to so you guys can kind of see what I'm talking about it's just like a little thicker than the other one and I am gonna add some almond milk to this one. All right, and then I'll mix this and I'll show you guys what it looks like. I just finished mixing the two and I'm already starting to notice some differences that I haven't picked up on before with the side by side. So the fat free, it's a little more milkier, creamier, almost looks like a soft serve. And then this one, the sugar free or the zero sugar, you can see it does have a thicker consistency to it. So what I'm gonna do that I do every single time is put the lids on these and I'm going to put them in the freezer for an hour and then I'm gonna set an alarm and move them to the fridge. And then I will check in with you guys in about three three hours and let you know what they look like and then we'll be able to compare the two but put them again fridge for more of a custard tex texture and then or thickness I should say and then the freezer for more of a thicker ice cream and I'll come right back all right guys I am back I just finished my work day it has been like four hours since I filmed that last clip and I have the desserts so the first thing I want to say is when I opened this one up it is a hundred percent more of this ice cream texture this is the fat-free one, the one I don't usually use, and I think I wanna start using this one. So you guys will see, if I can show you on camera, it has like a very creamy, scoopable, actual ice cream texture, and the flavor is literally amazing. I had a bite before I started filming this. This one was the cheesecake one, and it is phenomenal. I just think that this one got a lot creamier. So this was the fat-free cheesecake, and then the other one, again, also in the freezer for over four hours, looks like this. So it is much thicker. I'll take the spoon and show you guys. This one is like kind of like a harder ice cream. So you can see it still has that actual scoop to it. I'll get a piece up close so you guys can see. It just kind of resembles more of like a harder, like ice cream Cool Whip. Great flavor though, but in the frame, sugar free. Comparing the two though, I would say the fat free came out more like a soft serve, the sugar free more like a hard serve. Again, these have been in the freezer. So if I do put them in the fridge, they're both gonna soften up to be like this. But now that we've got our bases, let's get into some toppings. Getting into the good stuff, this is how I will usually top it. So I take an ice cream scooper and I will just scoop out a chunk of this if I wanna remove it from the container. Or you could just eat from the container by all means. You guys see how easy that scoops. It is like the best soft serve ever. This one is the fat free one. And then this one is a little harder with one hand. This is the sugar free. Still not that bad by doing this one handed. If I can try to get a good scoop of this. Okay, I had to do that off camera. It was hard with one hand, but I'm making a very little one just because I haven't ate dinner yet. So this is a pre-dinner snack. So I took one of each just so I could try it. 
And then my favorite topping personally is adding graham cracker. I love the honey made cinnamon specifically, but there's also honey. There's like a reduced fat if you wanted. You could also do like teddy grams, teddy bears, literally anything in this would be good, but I like the crunch. You could also do granola. I've seen that done before, but I'll just take one of these and then I will literally just kind of smash it in so you guys will see. Just like this make them smaller so you've got your little scoop and then one graham cracker and then what i love to do to make it like a berry sundae is take some of this raspberry jam good good it is keto friendly real berries no sugar added i will flip it around so you guys can see the back this comes in grape strawberry blueberry peach uh, raspberry literally so many flavors so i will take this and put a scoop of it in my sundae but if you guys did want extra protein you could do like a scoop of greek yogurt strawberry cheesecake i feel like would be really good i haven't tried this personally this is the light light and fit i've had it obviously before but not in one of these they've got lemon though orange blueberry cherry literally any flavor you can think of but i do feel like it would make it extra creamy if you were looking for some more protein um but for now i am going to put a scoop of this in just for that berry vibe and i feel like this is the best little summer dessert ever so let me scoop that and i'll show you guys what it looks like at the end okay here is the final product guys this literally looks so good when you get this perfect scoop, you get that like berry with the crunch. This is so good. It's a 10 out of 10. Literally, any combination you guys do, you could do pistachio beans, you could add chocolate. Like I said, I tried the Lily sugar-free chocolate and I didn't love it, um, but some of you may. You could do Reese's Cups. You could make it not healthy. And you could do like a regular Cool Whip and then do regular chocolate or whatever addings that you guys want. But I 10 out of 10 recommend this, especially if you can't get your hands on a Ninja Creamy. This will do until I'm able to find one of those and make videos and try it. But this is super good, super affordable, and you can find these ingredients literally everywhere. So I'm going to eat my sundae and end this video here. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I wanted to try something different than vlogging. And I feel like I've been making this so often. I knew you guys would like it as well. So leave me a comment down below if you end up trying this recipe. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos. And I'll see you guys in the next one.